Hello folks, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to use Ansible Vault commands. In this lecture, we are going to write a Ansible playbook to use our Ansible Vault. So, to demonstrate it better, I am going to create a private repository in our GitHub account and uh, will manage from there. Let's go to GitHub account. So, this is my GitHub account. I am going to create a new repository and uh, repository name I am going to give just vault and it is a private repository so that uh, while cloning this repository we should provide credentials I am initializing the readme file as well create a repository now we can clone it by using this option git clone and let's go here git clone and if I do this one it will prompt for username and password but if I use this URL in the Ansible playbook, I cannot provide the username and password. That is the reason in the URL itself, we can provide the username and password. So to provide username and password in the URL, we can use, okay, username colon password at your URL name. Okay, this is the syntax to provide username and password with the git URL. So here our username is Vyankil. Ankles and password. I have changed my password to Ansible123 for time being to demonstrate this lab. So now I am giving username and password in the URL and if I clone it, it won't ask for password because it takes from here. Right? Now if I see here a directory called vault, if I go inside, okay, nothing is there because we just initialized it. Okay. Now let me create a file over here, create a file, I am creating a file called index.html because we are going to use it later and h1 ansible vault testing and close it h1 ok I have created a file again if you want to receive updates git pull okay so latest updates are going to come over here yes you can see here index.html is there all right so that is how we can clone our repository now let's write our ansible playbook to clone the repository let me take this one and clear the screen i am going to write a file called ansible vault.yml okay this is my ansible playbook and minus 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 name ansible playbook to test ansible vault okay and hosts all become true actually it is not necessary just i'm giving so that uh, we don't face any permission issues while doing something and uh, tasks okay so we need to clone clone your repo okay we need to use a module to clone your repository we have a module called git let's go here git module in ansible so if i go to git go here you can see the parameters and the destination is mandatory where do you want to clone it and the repo also required so those two parameters we should provide so we have few examples over here if you see the example to download the repository git module and followed by so and so so and so okay so let's go and do this one so git module and we need a repo right so we have the repository this is my repository and a dist where do you want to copy on these target systems we would like to copy i am on ans admin under ans admin only i am copying so under ans admin slash opt ans admin under this i am creating a test vault okay we need to give a one directory name so that it creates a this directory and clone this repository onto this directory okay this is mandatory so let's save this file and uh, if i see here yes everything looks good ansible playbook 
minus i hosts and uh, vault minus minus check just validating my playbook okay it looks good and it is going to clone let's execute without check it has been cloned the repository if you see here oops so what is the path I have given? Okay, OPT Ansible I have given. Okay, let's go and see under OPT. So receive slash OPT. If I go to ANS admin, yep, here you can see the test vault. Okay. Anyway, any location would be fine. But this is uh, another location it created. And if I see, I can see the data. Similar way, if I go to cd slash opt ans admin test vault and you can see the data. Same thing over here ans admin and test vault. I can see the data. So now, what I am going to do, I don't want to give the my password over here because if I give this playbook to everyone, they can understand my git password, right? So to encrypt this one, I can encrypt entire file. But if I encrypt entire file, you don't know what tasks you are executing on this playbook. To overcome this one, if you remember, we have created a file called vaultpass.yml, right? Let me open this one. Ansible, it is in encrypted format, if you do remember from last class. Ansible vault view and password is abc123 so same password is available over here now why can't i use this file as my variable file and pass the variable over here so i can replace the this value with the password so that password will be passed from here so let's try that one i'm clearing the screen va ansible vault and uh, here instead of using password I am going to use the variable. So variable starts with flower brackets and password and close with flower brackets. Now it is in between of your content so you don't need to specify double quotes. Okay. Actually if it is in the starting of this line then you should specify under double quote otherwise it is optional. Clear? So let me remove the double quote. I don't need it if i go here now i need to add the variable file as well right so to add variable file vars underscore files then we should use the variable name that is vault pass dot yml this is our variable file let's save this one and before executing we'll remove on the target systems this particular repository otherwise it is trying to create the same directory again rm minus rf test sorry this is a root right sudo rm minus rf test vault same thing on other systems as well so let me come out and remove it it's not there even i have came out here now nothing is there right let's execute this time I am passing my Ansible password from a encrypted file, right? Then we need to pass that password as well by using ask vault pass. Otherwise, what will happen? This playbook is trying to get the variable, but variable file is encrypted and this Ansible playbook cannot able to open that file. So to open that file, we are passing the Ansible password. So ask vault pass and it asks for password abc123 and it's execute and clone the repository right now if i go and check yes it's created now here also it's created here also it's created right so that is how we can do if we don't pass this one you can just see what will happen yep if you see here attempting to decrypt but no vault secret found means we are trying to decrypt password file but we don't have any password so this is how we can do now what i can do i can 
update this vault pass file because somebody try to open they cannot able to see until they know my vault password even i still able to provide the my git credentials in this playbook so this is how we can use ansible vault to encrypt your data one last thing we are going to test that is i am going to keep password in one file sorry va pass yml so my vault password is abc123 i'm just saving it now while executing my playbook instead of providing password i will just give the password file here so vault password file okay this is how we can pass the file and our file name is pass.yml in this we have vault password and vault password is used to decrypt vault pass.yml file right so before executing this one again i am going to remove my test vault.yml okay same thing on other two systems as well so it's not there now here as well right let's execute this now and i am not providing password password is taking from this pass file to decrypt my vault pass file now again if i do ls now you can see the file similar way and here as well all right so this is how we can use ansible vault in our playbooks thanks for watching this video see you in the next video